Okay, now we're getting into the MIMO secrets. This is episode three of my MIMO secrets and it explains how MIMO works. So please, if you don't understand how MIMO works, go look at episode one and two. But this is now where I come to the little known facts. I wouldn't call it secrets, but I don't think too many people think about it this way. So now we look at what I call MIMO ray game. Now a good example here is again our we sell several 4x4 MIMO Omnis, okay? And they typically often go on yachts. Now, what can happen here, say each of these elements is, we roughly like them to be about 7 dBi. The reason for that is that the beam is broad so that if the yacht tilts, you don't go out of the signal. But if you're far away, if you're close away, you can use this array and get perhaps 2x2 MIMO. But say you're now very far away, and I'm going to draw it like da 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 da, you're 30 kilometers away from the, from the other side, uh, from the shore. And the sea is here. You can see now a direct path is like this, reflected path. There's no way, so you're going to get even 2x2 MIMO because the beams cannot be that narrow that you'll be able to distinguish between the reflected one and the one that comes straight. So, I used to say, Nemo is not going to have any impact, but let me show you what it will do. If you remember what I said about the rays, what will happen in this case, it will only use one radio. Can't, can't use actually more than one radio, but it will take these four beams and create a beam that is very directional. So, Four antennas, okay, the four if you translate it to dBs is six, okay, log 10 log 3 of four is equal to six. So if this was seven, this will be seven, I must just add, get my, that will be 13 dBi. Now, even though we're not getting multiple streams, so this is a non-MIMO effect obtained by MIMO because it's got that magic box and go look at the previous video that can phase things any way it wants, okay? You still get advantage of suddenly having an antenna that's got six dBi more gain. That still gives you, firstly, longer range, okay? Because you can go with six extra dBs. For every six dBs, you can double the range. So if you could have gone 20 kilometers, you can go 40 kilometers um, with this antenna. That's clearly a major improvement. And if you still had reach, what will happen is that you will go from a very simple modulation technique to a more complex one. Another video explains that. But you stuff more bits in per symbol and it will increase your data rate fairly dramatically, typically also often by a factor of four. So you still get a massive gain, although you're not using MIMA. That was a pleasant thing to me because I thought at first this was a bit of hoodwinking to sell people vertical arrays for yachts. And the same clearly applies uh, if you're selling a guy something in a rural setting, um, for example. This is now a guy has got on a building four antennas. This is a top view, not a side view. And I explained in the previous one. But he's 30 kilometers away from the base station. This is sort of the plot line. doesn't actually matter where it is. For them now to find reflectors that's far enough away from this path to be able to steer is hell of difficult. But they're going to get that extra 6 dB. And that extra 6 dB is massive. What I'm trying to say, to normally create an antenna that's got 6 dB more gain, you have to create an antenna that's four times the size. Okay, we are using four antennas. We have to because we want to get MIMO. It's not wasted. Even though you're not going to get MIMO, you're going to get 6 dB more gain. It's firstly going to speed up your data rate or just enable you to get that point. That is the hidden MIMO gain associated with MIMO systems. Mm -hmm.